Now, since we have seen how to install MySQL on the system and then connect the MySQL server, and then we saw how to install the package that lets us work with MySQL in Python. Now, as we have seen all these things, we are ready to proceed further. So what we will be going to do is to create a database and then create a table and then insert some values in it and see how can we insert one value at a time and insert many values at a time into a table. So let's hop on to the computer and see how to do all these things with Python and MySQL. So let's start. In last time, we saw how to install this My MySQL Connector Python package in the Jupyter Notebook itself and how we can import the connection, this uh, package into this environment and how we can connect to the database. Now that we have seen all these steps, let us do one more thing that is create a database then we will connect to that database and work further now let's create a database using the python so what we need to do is first we need to create a variable we need to create an object of cursor method so how we can do is we just need to say let's create a variable say cursor is equal to con dot cursor after running this, we have an object. We have an instance of cursor method. So this cursor method is very important when we are working with databases and Python. And this cursor lets us execute different queries, retrieve the data. This lets us insert the data. All that is done in the database in MySQL, in Python. Now, say suppose we want to create a database known as employees. So how can we do that? We can say cursor dot execute and we need to give this execute a query. So this execute is a method of cursor object, cursor class. So we just need to give it the query. So what query do we want to run for the database to be created? we just need to say create database and give database name say suppose we want to create employee and if we will run the database has been created now how do we know that database has been created uh, so we can get the list of the databases how let's see so we can say cursor dot execute what we want to execute is we want it show databases let's execute this cell now we have the list of the databases present so how do we access that list we have to say for database in cursor print database if we will run we have we can see we have employees database information schema database mysql database performance schema database students database and system database this these all databases except the student and employees are by default created by mysql server now when the database is are created they get stored in the mysql now we have seen how to create a database now we need to create tables in the database for that we need to give the connection variable the name of the database in which we want to create the table so how can we do that we just need to repeat the first line of code which we use to connect so let us now first close the data database connection and then connect again to the database now this time to the database that we just created so how can we do that after closing the connection to the previous database uh, let us now connect again to the 
database that we just created which is employees so what we need to do we just need to copy and paste the previous command that we first wrote and then we need to give it the database name so we can say database equal to students or employees which we just created now let us run this command and since we can see that the command did not return any error so our connection was successful and the connection was successful to the database itself so now what we need to do is create a very is create a table so what we can do is say suppose we want we will use a variable called query and store the query in it so we will say create table payments and now what we need to give we need to give the data types and the name of the attributes so how do we do that we say name where care 255 the size and say suppose we will say address where care 255 now let us run this command this query how do we run this query we just need to create a cursor again so we will say cur is equal to con dot cursor and after can after getting the cursor variable we will say cur dot execute what we want to execute we want to execute the query if we will run this our table has been created now how can we see that the table has been created we can see in the same way we saw how the database is so now let us get the tables in our database how to get them we will say dot execute show tables if we will execute the tables have been stored in the curve variable so how we can now access is using the for loop we will say print table now you can see the table payments has been created say now suppose you want to create a table with the primary key so how can we say do that say suppose we want to create a customers table and we can say cur dot execute and say create table customers and give this id an integer that means it's an integer auto increment meaning this id will be incremented whenever a new value is added in the database and it will be set as the primary key now if we will execute this column and we can see that this table will be created now let us see how many tables are there in our database so what we can do we can again say cur dot execute and show tables and we can say for table in cur print the tables and we can see that there are two tables in our database now after doing creating tables what we need to do we need to insert the data into our database so how can we do that we can do insert in our database using the insertion command so we can insert we can insert the data into the database using two insertion commands in first we can insert the data into table with a single value and then we can insert many values at the same time in the database now let's insert a single value in our database how can we do that we can say query is equal to insert into customers say suppose we want the data in our customers so what we can do we can say insert into customers and in which 
column we want the data to be inserted is the first one is name and the second one is address let me cross check the spelling address and name now what are the values that we want to insert are values first let us say we want to insert Zach and then we want to insert address as Zach123 so let us now execute this command we can say cur dot execute and give this cur dot execute the query q u r e if we will run this query since we did not get any error it means that the query was run successfully so we we will see how to retrieve this data from the database in the upcoming videos first at this moment let's concentrate on how to insert the data there is another way to insert the data into column where we specify the uh, format specifiers in the values section and then we get the values from a tuple variable so what we can do we can say query insert into customers name and address values format specifier format specifier now this format specifiers will be replaced by the values of this tuple so what are the values of this tuple the first specifier will be replaced by the first value and the second will be replaced by the second value now if we execute this query we can see we did not get any error if we did not get any error it means our query was executed successfully now this is the way in which we can insert the data one by one now since in many times we have a data a large collection of data and we want to insert that data at a time so how can we do that so we can say we can do the same query we can say query is equal to insert into the table name and then we can say specify we can specify the format specifiers and format specifiers now if we have a long list of names and values we can say we can just create a list we can just create a list of those names and addresses means those values means those rows means those tuples into a list and then we can insert that list at a time with one row being first tuple second row being second tuple so let us copy an example now say suppose I have the following valuable values and I want to insert these values in my database so how can I do that I just create a list and I create every row in a tuple this is first row second row third row and these are the values that I want to be inserted in my data base so how can I do that I just need to call the cur dot instead of execute we will call execute many and give the value sorry and give the same parameters that we gave to the secure dot execute that is query and then the value so now let's execute this and we can see the execution took place very successfully and since the execution took place very successfully it means that our data was inserted successfully now in this way we store the value we store the values we store the data into the database using python and mysql so now the final thing that we need to do is to save the data permanently so if we insert the data into the database if we update the data in the database we need to save we need to tell the database that make it permanent. So what do we do? We simply call con. We simply call c o n n dot c o n m i t. It means it says the database that make the change permanent. It says make the change permanent. If 
you want to persist these changes if you do not say comment uh, um, uh, if you do not call this comment method the changes will not be saved and your data will not be inserted or updated in this database that was all in this lecture now in the next lecture we will see how we can do retrieval of data from the database and maybe we will go in depth some other calls some other sql queries and see how we can execute those queries using python